Hey guys, welcome back to Fit Tips, Tricks and Techniques with me, Rob Richards. Where on today's show, I'll be taking a look at the shoulders, focusing on four very different exercises to help you build up strength, size and conditioning. But before we begin, I want to share with you the pre-workout drink that I made about 30 minutes ago. It's really going to help me amp up my workout. This is X-Core NO Shocks. Its three main ingredients consist of niacin, nitric oxide, and creatine. Now, most of us know the benefits of creatine helping to increase that muscular energy to really push through those deep final few reps on the weights. But what about nitric oxide and niacin? Well, both of them work as a kind of a vasodilator, helping to increase the diameter of the arteries, allowing for greater blood flow into the muscle, taking along with it more nutrients and oxygen. So really opening up that kind of fuel into the muscle, allowing us to dig deeper and go heavier with the weights. Speaking about heavy, let's get on with the first workout and start with some clean and presses. Clean and press is a great exercise to start on. First of all, it's a compound movement, meaning we're working the limbs across more than one angle. So the elbow and the shoulders are coming into play. Compare that to something like a machine where we're limited with that range of motion. They're often known as isolation machines. So the main benefit of the compound movement means we can move more weight. And this is great at the beginning because we really get to work all of the muscle heads in the shoulder and the traps and basically deplete them early on in the workout so that we can peak our training threshold helping the body to basically recover and grow stronger for our next workout. Okay, to get started, I think we better put some weights on. So, warm up set, about 20 repetitions. I'm feeling pretty warm from some cardio from earlier, so let's start off by putting a good weight on there and aiming for 12 repetitions. With the clean and press, it's important you get the right hand positioning first, which is it's about shoulder width apart and overhand. So wrapping the hands fully over, the thumbs go under, and that way you're fully locked into the bar to get that full range of movement and really recruit all of the muscle heads in the shoulder, like this. Quite a technical movement right there. It's a great exercise, let me break it down for you. The first part of the movement when we have the bar here is the clean. So for this one, keep the knees soft and with a slight bend and a push up, you wanna keep that bar close to the body, pulling it up towards the chest and the chin area and then right at the top, it's a flick round. So lift up and flick all in one movement so that the bar is not resting on the top of your chest, but it's in that position. And then the second part of the movement, again, keeping the knees soft, take a breath in, and in one sharp push up, extend the arms up, the bar straight above the head as you exhale. So the end of the movement is from here, and then simply reverse it. Breathe in, keeping the knees soft to allow for that bounce back down. So again, keeping this all in alignment. You don't want the bar to be going back and forth so don't go too quickly. Try to build up three or four sets with about 90 seconds rest in between, aiming for 10 to 12 reps for maximum size, strength, and with the combination of exercises, total conditioning. All right, let's move on to the next one. And for this, we're gonna focus on the rear deltoid to really help give us that rounded effect of the entire shoulder heads. And for that, let's use cables. So the rear deltoid, which is this kind of third finger-like off the shoulder, is often the neglected of the three. And that's because when you think about it, we're often doing a lot of pushing movements for chest and a lot of upwards pushing movements for the main shoulder, this medial, middle part of the deltoid head. But we rarely do this, a kind of a fly movement back. Sure, we do them for the chest, but to focus on the rear deltoid is a slightly different technique. 
So I'm gonna do a forward facing rear delt fly with cables to allow me that consistent resistance throughout the full range of motion. What I mean by that is, unlike the free weights for that Keenan Press, we have a dead weight that we're having to move throughout that full range. With cables, it's the same weight no matter where we pull the handle. So this is a great exercise to help strengthen and add a little bit of size and finish off that overall shoulder look. If you haven't done rear delt cable flies before, that's all about to change. This exercise really is a fantastic way to thicken out and beef up the overall shoulders. Now, let me break the actual exercise down for you. I start off with the cable pulleys at seated height with my shoulders, therefore keeping the arms in body alignment with the shoulder, the muscle group that's being worked. Secondly, I allow for a full range of motion by using my right hand on the left handle and my left hand on that right handle. Full range of motion when I'm pulling, but as you saw, I'm only doing a limited range of motion. So I'm keeping that pull, the resistance, all the time on closing that muscle. So again, maximizing that burn, and this is where that NO shocks really comes in to help me open up those arteries and get all of that nutrition and the oxygen from the blood into my muscle. So they talk about feeling the burn. This is where you're gonna feel the burn. Moving on to our third exercise, and for this, I'm gonna switch back to our free weights and use dumbbells and focus on some ISO movements to really maximize that medial and now bring in the front part of that anterior deltoid head. Already I'm starting to feel the burn, especially after having done the compound, clean and press, the cable resistant, isolated, that rear delt fly, and now coming back to more of a free weight, and moving that dead weight through the space, I can feel it on this middle part of the shoulder. So this is gonna be great for building out that conditioning, and again, a little bit of strength and size. But let's have a look at the actual movement. You can see I've already got my shoulder bent at a slight angle there and that doesn't change. The movement comes from this muscle here. It pulls up, keep my arm fixed, lowers back down but without allowing the weight to touch or rest on any part of the machine. This will help keep tension on that muscle and keep that burn going right until those final 10, 11 and 12th rep. Now, another side note on building out some size and strength is you want to aim for no more than above 12 reps, but you need to select a heavy enough weight that you can just about get to 10 and 11 with that final rep, giving it everything you've got. This is where you're gonna be recruiting those type 2B fibers, which are the growth fibers. So it's those final few reps that you really need to be strict with your form and proper technique to get the most out of your training especially when combined with something like NO shocks, which is increasing that vasodilation. So again, a double combination whammy there. Move on to the final exercise, and for this, we're going back to a big push movement, but instead of using an added resistance, I'm gonna use my body weight. So let me show you that one. This final exercise for shoulders is probably the most difficult of all four. So watch carefully as I break it down. We're using the Swiss ball as a kind of instability factor. This is really gonna recruit all of the muscles in the shoulders and a lot more of the stabilizing muscles that will come in from our chest, our arms, especially the back, the triceps, as well as the upper back, and of course the abs. So a great exercise to finish off and hit the abs with that final work set. What I do is get into a plank and then bring my hips up using my body weight and stabilizing myself to then do that same pressing movement 
that I first started with, with that clean and press. 12 reps on here really gets all of the muscle heads burning. Let's get to it. That one I can really feel, especially after having done those dumbbell lat raises and the rear delt cable fly. You know, this four exercises for the shoulders can be performed either as straight sets, like I mentioned, three or four sets of 10, 12 repetitions each exercise, 90 seconds rest in between, or try it as a circuit. 10 reps, 10 reps, 10 reps, finish off with 10 reps, Rest for one minute, let you get your uh, breath back, and then try and repeat it once or even two more times. So that's all I have time for today on fit tips, tricks, and techniques. Join me next time when I'll be back in the studio focusing on another body part and showing you how to maximize strength, size, and conditioning with four main exercises. But I'm off for some recovery, some glutamine and protein, and I'll see you guys back here. We'll see.